Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kelvin Johnson. In this video, I'll be showing you how to install the Microsoft Office Professional on a Windows 11 device. As you may know, the Office Pro is actually an, um, an old version of like before even the Office 2010. 3 was released that was when the office pro was released which was actually suitable for windows sp but i'm going to show you how to install it on a windows 11 device first of all what i want to do is i want to actually mount this the office pro to my um windows 11 device because it's an iso file so let me just go to my windows to my settings i'm using actually a virtual machine for this video so let me go i'm going to connect this browse to the iso file where the um office is located I think that the Office SP Professional. Let me just enter that and click OK. And then let me go to my let me go to File Explorer here so we can actually browse to our CD drive and try to install the Office Pro. So let's try and see if it's possible to install it on a Windows 11 device. I'm actually experimenting this for the first time. I've not actually installed the Office professional because it's an actually old um, office not actually suitable for windows 11 but let's just try and see if this is going to work so here we have our setup pro so let's just double click on the setup so click yes to actually um, accept the user's account control and click just select yes So you can see it says preparing the installation. It says this. Okay, now what we need to do actually is we need to enter the product key. So let me just try to actually just hit next. So if you try to hit next, you can see I don't actually need to enter a product product key to install this. But in the, in the meantime, if you install the Office Pro and you actually started the first time, definitely you'll be requested to enter your um product key so this actually in touch so it's ask, asking me if i want to actually install everything i'm going to say well i can decide to say use um do some changes but i just want to install everything on this device so let me just click next and here you can see that it says it's going to install microsoft word microsoft excel microsoft powerpoint uh, microsoft outlook and microsoft access so now we know we need to, we need to just click install but it's actually in dot so let's just click install so it's trying to actually install the office sp professional on this device so let's see if this will actually get installed or if i'm going to receive an error message or not you can see the solution is actually proceeding without me receiving any error message so let's just wait for this to get complete and we can start microsoft word or excel and see if we are able to actually configure it or not So here we go. You can see it says the installation of, of Microsoft Office as professional is complete. So let me just click OK. So I don't really need to start my device. So what I need to do right now is to go to my start menu. And here we can go to all apps. So when you go to all apps, let me just scroll down and see if we can actually see Microsoft Office that has been installed on this device. Here you can see I have the Microsoft Excel. That is the new. And also let me just go down, scroll down and let's see if we have microsoft word let me just type for let me just type for word
let's see if we can actually open word on this device so here we go we have the word pad but let me see if word also is installed okay now we here we go we have the microsoft word you can see that's actually the old version of microsoft word so let me just open that for the first time on this windows 11 device It says um, just a moment, uh, Windows is actually busy with configura configuration of Microsoft Office as professional on this device. Um, it says the function that you, that you want to use is actually up on a CD-ROM. I'm just going to say plus place your CD-ROM Office professional in the station. And let me just click cancel. Let me cancel that actually. And I say now I'm receiving an error message on this. So which means that something actually went wrong with the installation. So just a moment, let me just try to actually see. It says it's trying to actually start word. But now the word is actually still actually starting. Even if something I receive an error message. And here we go. You can see I can still use actually word, but it's asking me to actually activate Microsoft Office Professional on this device. So let me just cancel that for now. So when I cancel that, you can see that word was closed so which means i should be able i should activate microsoft word before i can actually use sp the microsoft sp uh, office sp professional so let me just wait and activate word then i uh, office then i can use it again so i just enter the product key for the office sp professional and here we go you can see right now i'm able to use the office the, the word um, document without any issue if i go to uh, there's the file actually you can see i can actually just let me just tap something. This is actually the old office. Actually, I'm not actually used to using this again for the past um, 10 years or even more. I think I was using this. Um, I just found this office professional, the oil office professional, I think about 15, 16 years ago. Go. So you can see we can actually still use it, but at the same time, I don't think um, there's I think there may be some very few people who are using the Microsoft Office professional at this moment. Thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video. My name is Kelvin Johnson. And please, if you have any questions concerning Windows Office or Windows 11, Windows 10, you can always send me a personal email. I'm going to leave my email in the description of this video and I'll reply to you as quick as possible. And if you have any question about Windows Server, Microsoft Intune, SACM, and I can also assist you in actually solving those problems because I'm working as an IT professional. I've been working as an IT professional for the past 10 years. So I've already gained some experience both on um, at home and also in the field because I work as a consultant. I have a lot of servers at home which I use to actually experiment. I'm actually doing this video from also from a Windows, from a HP server. So I've invested a lot actually in my home um, lab and also I also work as, a consult as an IT consultant. I've been working for different companies for the past years so if you have any question about it consigning windows office windows 11 windows server microsoft intune ssam office 365 i think i may be of great help to you thank you very much and please don't forget to like to hit the like button and subscribe to my youtube channel and leave a comment in this video and i'll reply to you as quick as possible thank you very much and goodbye bye